How many of you are bilingual? How many of you have grown up with technology in your primary school classroom? Not that many. And I don't want to make you feel old, but the first generation of primary school kids who have had technology their entire school life are graduating in three months. So the recent big debate is how much has technology impacted students anywhere around the world? In 2022, there was a standardized test across the whole United States that tests the aptitude and the proficiency of students in both English and math. In math, a mere 36% of students in fourth grade were proficient. In English, it was even worse, 33%. So many people, including myself, asked, is technology the problem? Because these students had gone through the basics of their schooling with technology. And I, I was wondering, how can we integrate the future of technology into classrooms and to make them feel better? Just to, if you're wondering, students are still testing better than their parents were at the end of, of the Cold War by a substantial amount. So technology must help a bit. But I'm going to start off with the main positive of technology, and the biggest advancement in the past decade, artificial intelligence. AI has been a talking point in every single major university and high school across the globe, yet very few people talk about it in primary school. I identified two key areas where I believe that AI are essential. The first is math, and albeit AI isn't even that good at math, because AI doesn't really think for itself, it just takes, especially chat, GPT takes information off the internet and gives you an answer. But I believe in the primary school classroom, we can use AI to help teachers. How? If a student is ahead of the classroom, the AI can generate questions for, for that student. If a student is behind and doesn't understand the theory, AI can generate a theory. Most importantly, AI will alleviate some of the pressure from teachers of teaching the entire class. AI could potentially replace some of the teacher if a teacher has to go help a certain student that's fallen behind. So even though math and AI don't really intersect in primary school, I believe that there's an essential place for AI to help students in math and hopefully push that proficiency up. How many of you, as I've already asked, but how many of you are bilingual? How many of you are trilingual? Well, the second main area that I believe that AI is suited for is languages. I believe that languages are key for the world in the 21st century. We're talking to people is essential. And AI can help these kids learn grammar. They can learn grammar and basic words at, the, at their own speed and by themselves. And it's been proven that the best way to learn, uh, to learn a foreign language, sorry about that, is to speak it. So instead of having the teacher have grammar rules on, on the whiteboard, the teacher could speak. And hopefully, the goal is to create a bilingual environment by the time these kids leave primary school. The amount of opportunities that would be opened up, thanks to AI and teaching a language with AI, are uncalculable. There's thousands of them. I also believe that AI should be taught as a subject in primary school. Because I believe it's essential to teach students of, of the, the future that even though they, a computer might write extremely well, a human will always write better. A human will have those hidden jokes or those words that will make something feel alive whilst the computer is dead. And I think it's essential to teach the kids of the future that AI can be a research tool, that you can cite what AI tells you, but to always write in your own words. But as we all know, there are not only positives when it comes to AI. There are also some, some downsides. And a story I like to tell is the story of eight-year-old me at home during my nightly Paw Patrol series that I would watch every single night. As every single night, my, my dad, he'd come down and he'd tell me, it's time to go to bed. And one night I was feeling especially mad at him for, I was just mad at him. <laughs> and I banged my head in protest on the floor. I got a concussion, but I learned that my head should not bang on the floor because, because of the TV. But why did I bang my head on the floor? Because I had the happiness that I correlated with that 40 minutes of Paw Patrol and my life. I was happy. The same kids of now, of 2023, 
they have TikTok and Instagram Reels. And what are the downsides of TikTok and Instagram Reels? Every single time that you watch that short 30 to 40 second video, you get a hit of dopamine. You get the hit of happiness that is unique. And after a certain amount of time, your brain stops to recognize that you're getting dopamine because you've gotten so much of it, you're addicted. So we have children these days who would watch the same Paw Patrol episode that I watched 10 years ago and would say, I'm bored after five minutes. There is nothing boring about Paw Patrol, but it's a good <laughs> lesson to tell everyone that the dopamine and the addiction that these TikTok and short videos causes is bad. And why is it bad? Because AI is being used in a negative manner here to capture students. So how is it going to capture students? It's going to show them videos that they enjoy, that they like. So every time you like, swipe, or scroll, AI recognizes that. And the same AI that potentially could be teaching Chinese in the morning, in the evening, is trying to make you stay awake and not go to bed. So how do I propose that schools implement AI? I'm not an expert, but I can tell you that I think we should probably be banning TikTok and Instagram Reels in primary school. It's simple, it might be an overreach, but I believe that it is for the good of the future to ban these video sharing platforms for younger ages. Because younger ages should not be inside on their TV, and they should, on their smartphone, sorry. Instead, in the evening, maybe a, some episodes of TV, but that's fine. But they should realistically be outside with friends. And I have spoken to a few people when you're three and four, and they have all told me that they prefer to be on their couch with TikTok then go outside and meet new people, which is not very promising for the future. So my conclusion is, if we're going to integrate AI and technology into primary schools, I believe we should. But we should be very wary of how far we decide to push it. Because we're walking a fine line between taking the positives of teaching math, Chinese, and, and, and all the other goods, and destroying a student's social life and attention span. That's why I believe that no matter what way the leaders of tomorrow and the leaders of the education world bring us, I hope that they take the right choices to make sure that the future generations bring us out of the 21st century in a better position than our parents brought us into it. Thank you.